Hello there, welcome to the June 2019 paper. Here we're looking at question one. Three bags, A, B and C, each contain one red marble and some green marbles. Bag A contains one red marble and nine green marbles only. Bag B contains one red marble and four green marbles only. Bag C contains one red marble and two green marbles only. Sasha selects at random one marble from bag A. If he selects a red marble, he stops selecting. If the marble is green, he continues by selecting at random one marble from bag B. If he selects a red marble, he stops selecting. If the marble is green, he continues by selecting at random one marble from bag C. Draw a tree diagram to represent this information. Okay, well, the first choice will be out of um, green or red. The probability of pulling a red marble out will be 1 out of 10, and a green marble will be 9 out of 10. If he selects a red marble, he stops, and if he selects a green marble, he moves on to bag B. So that's green and red. Uh, this one is going to be 4 out of 5 and 1 out of 5. Again, if he selects a red marble, he stops, but if he selects a green, he carries on. Green, green, and that's going to be 2 thirds and 1 third. So there we are, that's the answer for part A, that's our tree diagram, it's just on the top basically, with nothing coming off of the reds once you've selected a red, so you just stop the tree diagram there. Moving on to the questions now, part B is find the probability that Sasha selects three green marbles. Okay, well that will be going along the three green branches, so that would be 9 over 10, times 4 over 5, times 2 over 3, and that's going to give us an answer of, if we type that into the calculator, 12 over 25 when the fractions are all simplified. Moving on to part C, find the probability that Sasha selects at least one marble of each colour. So that's, uh, you have to select one marble of each colour, so the different options we've got there are green then red, oh whoops, I meant to put a red there, uh, green then red or green green then red. So we've got two different options there. The probability of green then red is going to be 9 out of 10 times 1 out of 5, which would be 9 out of 50. The probability of going green, green, then red is 9 out of 5, sorry, 9 out of 10 times 4 out of 5 times 2 out, no, 1 out of 3, because he selects the... Um, red marble on that last turn, and that's going to be 6 out of 25. So let's now add the results here together, so that's going to be 9 add 12, and 9 add 12 is 21 out of 50, so 21 out of 50 is our answer to part C. And moving on to the difficult question, question D, given that Sasha selects a red marble, find the probability that he selects it from bag B. Okay, so this here would be the probability, no, hold on, we need him to select it from, um, I don't know, in fact, let's continue the working here. Probability of just going straight for red is um, one-tenth um, from bag A, so just going red. So the probability of picking a red at some point, Picking a red at some point is going to be 1 out of 10 add 21 out of 50, so that would be 5 over 50, 26 over 50. Okay, so that's the probability of picking a red at some point, and now we need to find the probability of picking it precisely on bag B if he selects a red marble. So we're going to use Bayes' theorem here. This is the conditional probability. So it's the probability of picking it from bag B, given that he has selected a red at some point. So the formula is the probability of B and R over the probability of R. So this is going to be out of 26 out of 50. And then the probability of picking the red marble in bag B 
is going to be this one here, going uh, for a green in the red in the bag A, and then a red marble in bag B. So that's going to be nine out of fifty. So our answer there, we cancel out the fifties, and we're going to get an answer of nine out of twenty-six. So nine out of twenty-six is our answer for part D. So there we are, that's the answer for question one in total there, a nice little probability question, but difficult on question D, where you have to use the conditional probability formula. Okay, so that's the answer for question one, worth eight marks in total. Let's now move on to question two.